What on earth is solar punk? Why does it matter? And why should you care? Mm, that's a great question. Today, we're going to be talking about this new and exciting art genre and movement called solar punk. We'll also discuss how we can make the transition to become a solar punk society. But first, let's define what we mean by solar punk. At its core, solar punk is a vision of a future that is sustainable, equitable, and optimistic. It imagines a world where humanity has learned to live in harmony with the natural world, and where technology is used to improve the lives of all beings, rather than to destroy the planet. But you might ask, why does solar punk matter? Well, for starters, it's a refreshing and much-needed alternative to the dystopian visions of the future that we're often bombarded with in popular culture. It offers hope and inspiration, rather than fear and despair. Solar punk is not just a dream or a fantasy. It's an art genre and it's a movement. It's a way of thinking and doing. It's about creating real, tangible solutions to the challenges we face as a society, and about working together to build a better future for everyone. And that's why we're covering it today. Hello and welcome to Symbiosis, the channel where we present real-life stories and steps for you to take towards achieving harmony between humans, nature, and technology. Let's get into it. One of the key aspects of solar punk is its emphasis on caring for and living in harmony with nature. Solar punk recognizes that the natural world isn't something to be conquered or exploited, but rather something to be cherished and protected. Solar punk technologies are designed with this principle in mind. They aim to provide solutions to the environmental and social problems that we face without causing harm to the natural world. This could include technologies that harness renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power, or technologies that use biomimicry to emulate natural processes and systems. Solar punk also emphasizes the importance of decentralization and community ownership. Rather than relying on large, centralized systems controlled by a few powerful corporations, solar punk technologies are often designed to be owned and operated by local communities. This allows people to have more control over their own lives and to shape their own future. But what does this look like in practice? Let's take a closer look at some of the key elements of solar punk, starting with food. Solar punk food is all about sustainability, health, and community. It focuses on using local, organic, and plant-based ingredients, and on supporting small-scale farmers and producers. Solar punk food is often grown using permaculture techniques, which aim to mimic the natural ecosystems found in the wild. Solar punk food isn't just a matter of what we eat, but also how we eat. Solar punk communities often prioritize shared meals and communal eating as a way of fostering connection and building community. Solar punk food is about bringing people together and creating a sense of belonging. Next, let's talk about how you would handle the economics in a solar punk economy. Solar punk economics is based on the principles of sustainability, fairness, and cooperation. It values local, community-based businesses and cooperatives over large, multinational corporations. Solar punk economics is about creating a system that works for everyone, not just for a privileged few. Solar punk economics also emphasizes the importance of circular economy, in which resources are used, recycled, and reused, rather than being discarded and wasted. Solar punk economics is about maximizing the value of what we have, rather than constantly consuming more and more. But what about solar punk architecture? Let's talk about it. Solar punk architecture isn't just about designing buildings and spaces that are sustainable, but also beautiful and functional. Solar punk architecture incorporates many of the same principles as solar punk technology and solar punk food, such as using renewable energy sources and biomimicry. It also emphasizes the importance of creating spaces that are inclusive and accessible. So, if solar punk seems so nice, is it even obtainable? And if so, how can we transition into a solar punk society? Moreover, how can you be a part of it? Ooh, me? No. But before we dig in, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe to stay tuned for our future videos on how we can achieve symbiosis and thus live in harmony with both nature and technology. And give it a thumbs up to help others like you discover it. Thanks. Transitioning into a solar punk society will require a collective effort. Here are some concrete steps that we can take to make that transition. 
First of all, we need to educate ourselves about solarpunk principles and technologies. This includes reading about solarpunk, attending workshops and conferences, and connecting with others who are interested in the movement. Furthermore, it's important that we support solarpunk initiatives and organisations. This could include donating to solarpunk organisations, volunteering our time and our skills, or sharing solarpunk content on social media. On top of this, we can experiment with solarpunk technologies and practices in our own lives. This could include installing solar panels on our homes, growing our own food using permaculture techniques, or joining a local cooperative. Always advocate for solarpunk policies and initiatives. This could include writing letters to our elected officials, signing petitions, and participating in protests and other forms of activism. Create solarpunk art, media, and culture. For example, writing solarpunk stories, creating solarpunk music, or making solarpunk art. By sharing our creations with others, we can help to spread the solarpunk message and inspire others to join the movement. And of course, subscribing to the Symbiosis YouTube channel, you'll hear about more inspiring topics. But also, you'll learn how you can take important and impactful actions to achieve symbiosis for humans, nature, and technology on a global scale, using modern technology such as the internet, Web3, crypto, and AI. By taking these steps and by working together, we can make the transition to a solarpunk society, we can create a future that is sustainable, equitable, and optimistic. A future that's worth fighting for. And there you have it. Solarpunk is a powerful reminder that we have the power to shape our own future. We don't have to accept the status quo or be resigned to the way things are. We can create the world we want to live in if we're willing to work for it. Solarpunk offers a glimpse of what the future could look like. It shows us that it's possible to create a world that is sustainable, equitable, and optimistic, and that respects and cares for nature. The kind of world that imagines the tools we need to make that vision a reality. Now how's that for an inspiring vision for the future? Thanks for watching, and here's another video from our channel that you might like. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.